Now at four, as the heat turns up, so does the investigation into the coastal fire that wiped out more than 20 homes in Laguna Niguel. Good afternoon, I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Amy Johnson. In today for Susie Sa, this is KCAL 9 News at 4, streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Firefighters are still working to put out hot spots from the fire that swept the Laguna Niguel neighborhood. This is a live look from Sky 9. You can still see the smoke smoldering in Aliso Canyon. Firefighters will be keeping an eye on things in case of flare ups as that warm and windy conditions continue. That's right, Amy. The coastal fire has burned at least 200 acres. Hundreds of households have been forced to evacuate. We have live team coverage beginning with KKL 9's Jeff Nguyen. Jeff. Guys, the couple that lived here wasn't home when flames overtook their house. Let me step aside so you can see that it has been red tagged. Right now, let's go up to our chopper so you can get an overview look of this area because right now the fire department is still trying to figure out the extent of this devastation. And my husband just brought me this photo and I was just so like, oh my gosh, I'm just so touched. It's easy to understand why Lynn Mori gripped her wedding photo so tightly. So I'm in shock right now because you can see our house was right here, so we have total loss damage. Our camera was in front of Mori's home Wednesday night as wind fueled the coastal fire in Laguna Niguel. The intense flames blew out the upstairs windows. Diane Buckle's home was still standing after she came back from a trip, but her neighbors weren't so lucky. It's devastating. It looks like a war zone. I mean, I can't even believe it. I heard it was bad, but this is so devastating. At Richard and Sandy Vogel's home, the birdhouse is all that's left. This is a photo of them enjoying their pool with their grandkids last week. Their son Matthew could hardly contain his emotions. You know, just growing up here, having a good time. I mean, you know, my parents always treated me well, and this is this is hardcore. You know, straight up. Yeah. Keith Morey was reunited with his personal computer and that photo of his wedding to Lynn. We were married four years ago, but we've been together for 14 years, and it's a great picture. Thanks to firefighters who went into their home and found what they could salvage. It's a small little victory, right? Uh, in, a, in a pretty devastating day. This is a silver lining, yes. Even though Lynn's wedding ring was lost in the fire and all they had were the clothes on their backs. So it just brings us closer together and shows that uh, makes her actually makes us stronger as a couple. Now firefighters plan to stay here overnight tomorrow and perhaps Saturday. The plan is to bring in heavy equipment to knock down all of these damaged homes and completely extinguish all of the flames that may be burning beneath the rubble. We are live in Laguna Niguel. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.